It is a story that tugged at probably your conscience. You read this on the internet. This mother blogs about the raw reality of being poor, really poor. Killer Martinez writes this, quote, nobody gives enough thought to depression. You have to understand that we know that we will never not feel tired. We will never feel hopeful. We will never get a vacation ever. She goes on, I am not beautiful. I have missing teeth and skin that looks like it will when you live on B12 and coffee and nicotine and no sleep. Beauty is a thing you get when you can afford it. And that's how you get the job that you, she goes on here, need in order to be beautiful. There isn't much point in trying. You read that, you, you feel for her. It's compelling, right? The blogger cashed in. She raised more than $60,000 through Go, GoFundMe.com. But guess what? This is all a hoax. This is all fake, according to the Houston Press, which outed, good for them, the blogger as an ex-political consultant who went to boarding school. And that is just one example we pulled for you. The Twitter conversation, here's another, in which reality show producer Elon Gale tells off this unruly plane passenger named Diane, even tweeting pics of handwritten notes to each other. One word, fake. And the waitress, this was all over my Facebook feed not too long ago, cheated out of a tip because she's a lesbian. The accused family denied it to New York affiliate WABC, showing the receipt with a decent tip on it. So what's up with this? What's, what's with all these internet hoaxes? Joining me now, senior media correspondent and host of Reliable Sources, Brian Stelter, and CNN Money Tech correspondent, Lori Siegel. And listen, we all read them. We're all on social media and you start to wonder, wow, and you feel for these people Brian Stelter, to you first. Walk me through the process of some of these blogs, the places that grab these stories and run with them. Well, sometimes with these stories, we all want them to be true. Right. And we forget maybe the first rule, trust but verify. Check it out first. You know, there really is a virality industry with websites uh, that, that are in the business of finding these things and blowing them up, you know, with slideshows and stories. I don't want to pick on any specific ones, but yeah. you see BuzzFeed do this, you see the Huffington Post do this, Upworthy do this, and lots of others like them because these things have, uh, you know, have a lot of interest from people. My follow-up is on vetting, but Lori Siegel, let me ask you mm -hmm. this because I know you cover social media so, so intimately. It just describe how quickly this thing can light up on, on, let's say, Twitter. And also, for example, the woman, this blogger, this impoverished blogger, she raised 60 grand on GoFundMe.com. I mean, like Brian said, everyone loves a good story, right? Everyone likes a feel-good story, but viral, the speed of the internet, is a whole different kind of speed. Mm. And that's what happened here, and people didn't take a step back, I, and I've fallen victim to this, but sometimes you have to do what Brian says. You always, you need to diligence. vet. You know, recently someone named G Jim CNN actually reached out to me on, on Twitter, and all of us were saying, who is this person? And we all kind of did some vetting, looked and saw that there was a stock photo of this guy, and he was immediately taken off. But you've mm. got to really operate under the assumption that, you know, maybe viral first, but actually really take a look at it.